Hey guys, Coach Kirk Shenta here. And today I am going live a little bit early today because I just was like, you know what? I need to get this done today. So today we're going to be talking about seven tips to stop and overcome overwhelm and frustration in your online business. And I know this is something that everybody um, has faced at some time. I know I have faced and I face it over and over and over again. Everybody faces it. So we're going to talk about how you actually work through that. Before I jump into this, I first want to introduce myself. So I'm Coach Kirk Shenta, and my story is that um, in one year, I went from zero to 50K in my first year, and that's what I teach other people how to do on social media is how to go from zero to building your first four to five figures a month, leveraging social media. I give the tips, the strategies, and everything in my social media profits course. So that's what I do. So today I'm going to um, talk about how you can stop overwhelmed and just start seeing progress progress right in your business in your online business okay so we all feel like there's so much that we need to learn everybody's like oh my god there's so much i need to learn so much that i need to do right it's never enough right it's always something we need to learn always something we need to do so one of the first tips that i want to give is make sure that you're not trying to do it all all right i'm going to give you a method that is going to help you uh, actually be overwhelmed really quick, okay? And it's also gonna help you avoid all that shiny object stuff, right? Buying all these courses because you feel like you gotta know every traffic strategy, every hack, every this, every that, every system. And all it's doing is creating confusion in your business, in your mind. And you're like, oh, let me do this. Let me do that. Let me do that. And you're never getting progress, leverage, momentum in any one traffic strategy, things like that. So let's get into this method. First of all, the first thing to be overwhelmed is stop trying to do it all. OK, learn to break it down. I'm going to give you a method I call the one, one, one method. OK, so what you want to do is look at what you're doing right on a daily basis and just first make sure that you have income producing activities. The one, one, one method works like this. What you want to do. And I learned this from a top um, mentor, my top mentor in the field. She didn't call the one, one, one method. I gave her that method. But this is what she the way that she, uh, she taught me is to focus on traffic generation, one traffic generation um, platform, basically. One traffic generation platform, okay? So what you wanna do is focus on, for example, getting 50 leads a day or 100 leads a day, whatever your target number is, but you wanna focus on that daily. The second thing that you wanna focus on is on that platform, um, building a targeted audience. So the first thing is traffic generation on one platform. That platform could be Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, YouTube, okay? Pick a platform. And once you then master that platform, then you can move on to other platforms. But pick one platform, okay? A lot of people are like, oh, okay, I'm going to start on Facebook. Okay, I haven't yet mastered that. I feel like there's something I need to, to learn. But, oh, I saw this person over here say TikTok, I could get 10,000 leads. Okay, now let me go over there. And you're just running from platform. You've never mastered any one platform. Pick one platform. All right. Focus on traffic generation on that platform and focus on a leads number a day. Okay. So, again, I would say any beginner should focus on 50 leads a day. Second thing is, on the platform that you choose, you need to focus on building a targeted audience and selling to that audience, right? So for example, let's let's use an example. If you were building, my, my preferred platforms are Facebook and YouTube, okay? But like, let's say you were on Instagram, okay? You're gonna build a targeted audience, how? Through your hashtags, okay? Cause that's what Instagram really is. You're attracting an audience to you through hashtags and things like that. That's why I don't do, I'm not about that life, right? <laughs> but you're gonna build a targeted audience towards you. What is a targeted audience? This is important. Reason why a lot of online marketers, while we're talking about overwhelm, they're overwhelmed because they're too busy putting their information in front of people who are not your targeted audience. Don't give a damn about what you're talking about. They're not ever going to buy what it is you have to offer because they're not your target audience. So when you're building this audience on that platform, you need to make sure that you're building a targeted audience and you need to know and learn how to do that. OK, and then you're going to sell to that audience. How are you selling to them through your lives, through your webinars, things like that? Right. These are some of the activities that you can do through your posts that you can do to then sell to your targeted audience. I hope you're following my friends. OK, so the one on one method, traffic generation, um, focus on the leads number once a day. The other number one is to build um, on that platform and build a targeted audience. And then the third number one is you want to focus on one follow-up strategy, one, 
right? Once you learn these fundamentals, one, 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 now you have a foundation on which you can build. Okay. So one follow-up strategy, for example, here's a great follow-up strategy that every online marketer should have. What if you, for example, send daily emails to your list with your offer. Okay. So that is a simple follow-up strategy that a beginner can do. Okay. So again, one traffic generation um, method and a number that you're focusing on um, one platform that you're building a targeted audience and you're selling to that audience on that platform and three, one follow-up strategy. Okay. So that's that. The next thing that you can do to be overwhelmed is, um, I already talked about, um, the platform. So one thing that I want to point out, whatever platform that you pick, you want to make sure that that platform allows you to do video marketing. Why do I say that? Last year in 2019, almost every major platform made an announcement to their stockholders, to their their investors, that videos and groups and engagement basically was going to be the thing um, that was going to 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 be um, that they were going to get priority to, I should say, on their platforms. Facebook made a big announcement that Facebook groups and video was going to to produce 90 percent of the traffic on um, their platform. And they are, you see commercials now about Facebook groups, you see commercials now about their video marketing, right? So whatever platform that you pick, you want to make sure that part of your strategy so that you're not so overwhelmed is to learn to use your videos to help you as a marketer. Here's how videos are gonna help you as a marketer. And this is why it's gonna help you be overwhelmed. First way that's going to help you be overwhelmed as a marketer is as you begin to do more videos, your confidence in yourself as a marketer is going to grow. Your first couple ones, you're going to feel a little shaky, but hey, that's the way anything you do, right? You ride a bike, you're like, eh, you're going to feel a little crazy, but then your confidence is going to grow. Number two, it's going to begin to educate the person who's watching your videos about who you are, no like, and trust what you have to offer and how you can help them with whatever it is that they're struggling with. For example, if you are a barber, you can help them get their hair together. If you are, um, you sell tea, detox tea, you can help them snatch their, snatch their waist, right? So videos are going to help you do that. The third thing that video is going to help to do to help you with overwhelm is it's going to be create passive leads for you meaning that that video is always out there producing leads and sales for you You did it one time this is why i love you too (laughs) okay you did a video one time that video is out there producing daily leads and daily sales for you in your business okay so you definitely want to make sure that as you pick a platform that video is integrated it's going to help you with that overwhelm because you know that you always have something out there that's helping you grow your lead base and then that could lead to sales as well because it's always presenting for you. All right, moving on. Number three is to stop overwhelm is you want to amp up your productivity game. Amp it up, my friends, okay? So how are you gonna do that? You're gonna get a planner. So many online business owners never have a planner. They don't have a planner. Get you a planner and get you a timer as well because um, I use, oh, my phone died, I forgot, but (laughs) there's, um. Uh, a couple apps that you, I use on my phone. One is called Sloth, S-L-O-T-H. And it allows me to set timers. So I, I'll set a timer that, okay, for 10 minutes, I'm going to do this video. For 10 minutes, I'm going to, you know, follow up, whatever it is. But it allows me to stay productive and not to fall into busy work, which also creates overwhelm, right? It, it you know, if I decide that I'm going to sit, sit on a webinar, I put that webinar in my calendar, OK, and I'm and I'm like, you know, what? I'm not going to add a whole bunch of other things to my calendar. Right. Because you only have so much time. OK, so get a planner, get a timer, get a notebook where you are every single week. Here's my, my tip to be overwhelmed on Sundays. Get in the habit of um, mapping out your week's goals. What I mean by that is you want to map out um, how much um, what do you need to do for the week? Right. What kind of activity do you need to do for the week? What are your goals and how many like leads and sales do you need to to make to reach those goals? Right. These are numbers that you should know how to hit. OK. And then the next thing is to stop scrolling your news feed, because that also what happens is you get behind in your activity and you're like, oh, wait, I just I just wasted an hour scrolling through my news feed. OK. The next thing is to also realize that engaging and engagement 
and being popular on social media doesn't pay the bills. I've seen people who they get three to 400 um, people commenting on their posts and they still can't close a sale to save their life, right? <laughs> so these are skill sets that I'm teaching people on social media profits because I'm like, you need to learn these things. So understand, don't get caught in the trap of social media engagement and scrolling because that does not pay your bills. It's great to have and I, it's part of the strategy, but it is not what pays the bills. You need to focus on what pays the bills and what brings in income into your business. And that's not it. OK, so if you want to be on Facebook and you want to be scrolling, set you a timer. And when that is done, get your butt off of there. OK, number four, learn. This goes back to what I was saying about how all the major platforms are monetized or are given um, incentives to people to do videos. You want to put out valuable content so that people will want to follow you online. OK, what I want you to do, and this is some this is oh, you can't see my board, but I have a board over here. One of my affirmations up there is I'm the plug. OK, I am the plug. <laughs> OK, you are the plug. Right. So for whatever it is that you're offering, you're the plug. So what you want to do is think through the eyes of the person who needs what it is you have to offer and begin to put out content, content being posts, emails, videos to talk to the person who needs what it is you have to offer, to give them a message of why they need it, how to get started with what it is that they need, right? And how they could get results with what it is you have, right? These are the types of content that will draw people to you, bite-sized nuggets of tips, things like that. These are things that you wanna put out valuable content so people will want to follow you online. That's gonna make your job easier. It's gonna get you all overwhelmed. You won't have to think about uh, some complicated strategy of what to do. Um, in your business, because that's what you do in your business. That's it. That's the strategy. OK, so know that you're the plug and put out that valuable content so people want to follow you online. All right. What I want you to do is, again, going back to knowing that you are the plug. There are always people who are one step behind you and you might be like one day in, 10 days in, 30 days in. And someone behind you is saying, oh, you know more about making money online than I do. You know more about losing weight than I do. You know more about hair care than I do. Help me you are the plug. Okay. So that's going to help you with overwhelm. All right. Um, and anyways, the content that you put out, I do want to say this back to videos and putting out valuable content is it's going to help you automate again, those passive leads and an income. Because if like, for example, I'm, you put your videos out there on a platform like YouTube, things like that. And people are going to your capture page right? You're building an email list, right? You're building your daily leads, okay? People are buying, people are reaching out, things like that. So you're building passively through something that you did like one time that maybe took you a few minutes a day, you're building your leads and sales. And this is what I teach people how to do. How do you get out there on Facebook? How do you get out there on YouTube and begin to do these things, okay? So number five, whew, this is important. Don't be desperate for the sale. OK, that's going to help you overweight. Like, what did I got to do? Overwhelm a lot. Do not be desperate for the sale. OK, so what you want to do is set up the foundations and systems in your business and then build those systems. So, for example, your audience, your autoresponder, these are all systems in your business that are going to help you build authority leads sales. Right. You set up these systems and you build those systems. OK, and then you have faith in the process and commitment to the process. And, and follow through through the process, right? And when you are desperate for a sale, it changes how you show up in your business. For example, early on when I first started online, I'm telling on myself, um, early on when I first started online, I was so desperate for sales that um, what would happen is the way I would come at people, they could, they could, I reeked of desperation, right? I was messaging everybody in my inbox. I was um, like, I got to get a sale. I got to get a sale instead of having a mindset of let me build the foundations, which are building an audience, generating daily lead, lead flow, following up, right? Let me focus on that. Let me make sure I have my autoresponder set up, my systems that can help me build, right? I didn't, that wasn't the mindset I had at first. I was reeking of desperation. I was reaching out to people, doing things the wrong way. And that attitude, that funk reflected on my business. It reflected on how I showed up in my business. So I didn't show up in my business the right way. I didn't show up in my business and give 100% because my attitude was like, well, if I don't get a sale today, if I don't get a sale by the end of this week. If I don't get a sale in 30 days. This shit sucks. I give up. 
That was the attitude that I had. So you you cannot be desperate for a sale. You have to build the foundations and you got to check yourself because that reflects how you show up in your business. Okay. All right. Let's move on. I'm almost done, my friends. I only got two more to go. Let's get these last two popping and let's get out of here. So number six, um, this is important. I talked about this a little bit yesterday, but taking daily consistent action. I mean, I, I keep saying this, but taking daily consistent action again, set your vision for the weeks. Again, in terms of your activity, what leads, sales, and numbers that you need to hit to reach your monthly goals, and then map out your office hours. Wow. Say it again. Office hours. Just because you are online, you are still an online business owner. So that means that just like a standalone brick and mortar business, they have office hours, they have business hours. As an online business owner, it's very important to have office hours. And for a while, I got away from that. And I was like, okay, well, I know what I need to do, but I'll just do it here and I'll just do it there. No, you need office hours. So this is where you need to go back to mapping out your time. This is going to help you with your be overwhelmed. Get where are the great hours? If you work a job, okay, map out your where you work, map out your family commitments, everything else. Now, where are you going to work your business and when? What kind of things are you going to do during those office hours? Okay, that is where you are giving commitment to your business while you're working a full time job, right? You can't, your business can't be a hobby, it has to be something you're giving commitment to. All right, so that's that. Next, number seven is one of the most important things that I'm going to say to help you be overwhelmed because. For me, it was one of the best things that ever helped me. And I always talk about how I was able to skip the struggle bus. So a lot of marketers that in their first year, they're stuck on a perpetual struggle bus. They're like, I don't know what I, why I don't have no authority and I don't have no leads and I don't have no sales. And I got to convince everybody named mom and them. Like, why? And I'm like, because you did not get a mentor. And what, let me be clear. We're not talking about a million mentors because this also contributes to, 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 um, overwhelmed is when you have a million mentors not every you don't need to be on everybody's list you don't need everybody's course you don't need everybody's webinar you don't need all that because all that does is create confusion and the reality is that every mentor is going to teach you a different strategy so you are going to be splintered in your strategy and get results you know how to say was a jack of all trades master of none you're going to be splintered in your strategy you have one mentor teaching you one strategy here another mentor teach. i had one mentor thank god for tanisha because she taught me one strategy. Okay. So you need to make sure that you pick a mentor, a strategy and follow that until successful, follow one course until literally right for the, for having a thousand courses, right? We've all fallen into shiny object syndrome at some, nobody, I don't feel like anybody comes online and they're immune to shiny object syndrome, but I'm giving you my best advice. Follow, get a mentor, Follow one course until successful, literally, right? And stop being on everybody's list. I actually made a conscious decision early on. I unsubscribed from all these gurus lists. I got off of their lists, right? I, I unfriended all of them on Facebook. I think I kept like two of them. Got all, unfriended all of them. And I was like, I am going to do what my mentor says. Then it, it just, it helps you be overwhelmed and move forward and make progress, OK, so here's what you want to look for in a mentor. You want to look for somebody who's been there before because they're going to help you cut your learning curve. Someone that has been there before, someone that can show you the way, someone that um, is not showing you. And this is important too, not showing you a one off uh, traffic hack. This is so common in our industry. They're like, oh, the latest traffic source, the latest whatever. No. What you need is someone who's going to show you a how to structure your online business, someone who's going to show you how to put systems into your business, and someone who's going to show you a whole blueprint and a whole strategy to help you move from consumer of courses, of information, of knowledge, and be able to put that into action so you can get progress and results. And then you just go do the work. Okay. Now, so if you're watching this and you're like, you know what, Shan, everything that you said, it resonated with me. I am tired of being overwhelmed. I'm tired of wanting to start my online business. I'm tired of wanting to be profitable in my online business. I need some strategy, all right? So if you want to learn how to grow, start and grow a profitable business on social media, you definitely want to know the following things. You want to know how to set up your online business. You want to know the a daily step-by-step -step checklist to help you move You know where you need to go. You want to know how to brand yourself and build an audience that you don't have to convince to. 
you want to build an audience that you don't want to have to convince to because then you get out of selling. OK, you want to know how to market on Facebook and YouTube and to turn that into uh, a platform on which you can create leads and sales. You want to know how to collect two hundred and fifty dollars commissions while you're doing this work. Right. Then what I want you to do is my number is on this on this screen. Send me a message. Shen, I want some information. All right. Social media profits. I want some information. All right. That's it. Subscribe on YouTube and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.